Hello everyone, this is Harley from Garden NFL, and today we're actually going to be planting a Praying Hands Banana Pup. Now I'm really happy because I actually got this from Socolta Grove here locally in Sarasota, and Praying Hands is a banana variety that I have actually have tried from them personally, and it's actually a really good, kind of sweet tasting. It does have a lot of vanilla tones to it, and a kind of like a marshmallowy taste, a banana variety. So overall, the Praying Hands Banana is one that I'm really looking forward to planting here in Bradenton at my house. I actually do have one already at my farm in Punta Gorda, but you know, I made some space recently, or you know, I just saw some space more like it, and I was like, you know what, I really want the Praying Hands Banana. I saw that they had some for sale, and I picked one up. So I wanna give you a little closer look of the Praying Hands Banana Pup. As you see, it does have a very nice and slender form to it. I really like how it looks. You know, to me, the leaf looks a little different than other banana varieties. Overall, it kinda of looks like every other banana that I've seen. I really like how it looks. And I have a spot over here in my yard that I'm gonna put it in. It's actually gonna be in between two taller, two tall Namwa bananas because I just have like Tonema, Tonema, Tonema. I want there to be, you know, like another variety in there. And I actually got also a, a rhino, a true, a true rhino plantain. And see, and those are actually the big, big long plantain or actually green ones that we eat in Colombia. And I'll actually bring you and I'll actually get that just to show you. So this one would actually be the rhino horn plantain. As you see, it's, it's small, but you know, this once it goes on the ground and with the rainy season, I guarantee you it's gonna like times 10 in size so i'm really looking forward to this one as well this one i'm actually i might put in a different area of my yard maybe more in the front i still have to kind of see where i'm going to fit this one in but overall i'm just really looking forward to having you know all these varieties here now at the farm or at my house so yeah let's go in the back and we're going to actually see where exactly we're going to plant the praying hands banana which would be this one right here So right back here, I actually did a trimming today. I trimmed back the lemongrass and uh, Mexican sunflower, but I actually am gonna plant this one right over here. Now I do have an ice cream bean actually right here on the ground. It's kind of hard to see from all the way over there. But we're just gonna be planting this praying hands about right here, you know, in the middle or so. Now this area does get good sun in the afternoon. I just got baked with the sun, but it, now we actually have a little shade. So this will be a good place to plant it. And you can and you can also see from my tall name why is just how tall they grew. So this area is really good. So we're gonna plant the spring hand bananas in this spot. Now it is a little bit shady right now, but as it grows, as you see, what they do is the bananas, they eventually reach the sun, which is uh, right now it's over there. So I do have to be a little careful in this one area because I actually do have a from seed avocado right here and some other things like a mango. And so I think I'm gonna plant it right about here, kind of in the back. I'm just making sure because at one point this RV is moving so I don't want it to be damaged by the wheels but I think right here should be fine so we're just gonna set this over here and I just gotta be very careful because I have an ice cream bean right here but it's just a seedling one so it shouldn't worry shouldn't matter too much now I do recall that this little air right here was fairly uh, rocky so here we are just gonna continue digging and in florida you know you may have heard that the soil that we have is mainly all uh, sand which is true to some extent although in some cases we do have uh, some areas with better soil than others just because uh you know for example like my area there's a big there's a big oak tree over us so i guess the previous owners they didn't really manage or do anything with the yard and they just let all the oak leaves kind of build up over time and something interesting about where i live is this place where this property was ban abandoned for many years believe it or not so for when i say many years i mean like 20 or 30 years maybe even more than that um so and it had all these big oak trees and everything all this wildlife all this these uh uh, you know these big palm trees and uh, it would all fall to the floor all the, the leaves and no one took care of it and it would just all you know build up for the soil so that's really good overall um, because when we moved in we we're like wow this place has a blessed soil so I'm just going to show you guys kind of the hole I'm digging now actually when you dig bananas by the way so when you're actually planting a banana it's always recommended to dig the hole very deep whenever you're planting the corn whenever you're planting the 
quorum is what I mean. Because the quorum, and when I say quorum, I just mean, and when I say banana quorum, I'll show you what the banana quorum is. This part of the banana would be considered the quorum. So you want to make sure, you don't want to plant this in the soil where it's going to be like this. Because this is horrible. If you plant it right here with soil level, like a regular plant, um, you know, whenever it's windy or something or the banana has fruit in the future, this thing will fall off. It has no support whatsoever. So when you plant the banana, you literally want to plant it like this deep or even even deeper, like if you want right here. So literally only this part is, this portion is sticking up. And like I said, that's all because this banana is not even considered a tree, it's a plant. It's like a grass. So uh, it's not very strong. That's why you see a lot of bananas fall over sometimes. You see, uh, you know, people put support on their bananas. But this, if you plant it very deep like this, this helps it much more in the future. And uh, yeah, so that's just a tip for you guys whenever, we're, whenever you plant bananas. As you see, this is the hole that we're digging so far. And there's a little root down there. It's kind of making it a little difficult to dig deep, but we're just gonna try to dig uh, around it nonetheless and remove as much uh, root as we can. always we're just going to water in the praying hands bananas you know just to make sure that the corm inside the roots get wet although the soil is pretty much already wet from yesterday's rain overall i'm just really going to be looking forward to this banana variety growing here at my house so this right here is overall how the praying hands banana look as you see right over here it just has a really good spot and it's going to be fun watching this one grow because because these bananas overall just grow really fast now i actually did plant the african rhino horn plantain that you saw in the beginning of the video and I'll just show you where I did plant that one now I did plant that one a little bit more over here on this side so we still have the kind of banana rose right here and all I did was I kind of extended it right over here to there now though this is planted a little bit in the shade right now during the afternoon it gets really good afternoon sun and you know as it grows it'll just grow really tall and it'll touch the sun overall you know eventually it'll just grow and be able to absorb all this sun that we're seeing right here so thank you guys so much for watching this video of me planting praying hands banana and african rhino horn banana here at my house in Bradenton, florida i really can't wait to show you guys when they flower and when they fruit especially once you grow your own bananas at home you'll never go back to buying store-bought bananas because the bananas you grow at home will be so much more better i guarantee it so thank you guys so much for watching i can't wait to do an update on the praying hand bananas in a few months and show you how much is grown as well as african rhino horn thank you guys so much if you like tropical fruit farming videos please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel it means a lot and it lets me know that you support my work so thank you guys so much this is harley from garnfl and i hope you have a good day bye bye now